Welcome back, friends. So earlier this week, we wrote one type of poem called a rhyming poem, where we used our pictures and we wrote our sentence about the super kids. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna write something called an alphabet poem. And what I want you to do is I want you to think of your favorite letter in the alphabet. Um, so you're gonna pick your favorite letter. And then you're going to think of something that starts with that letter. And you're going to write something that whatever you picked likes to do with that letter. Um, so the paper you're going to need today is this one. It has the box for your illustration. And then it says blank is for blank that blank. So I want you to think of your favorite letter. And... My favorite letter today is going to be ooh, the letter F. That's a good sentence. And the other thing you can do is if you can think of a good sentence or something that starts with that letter that you like, that can be your favorite letter too. Um, so I'm going to put, oh, I forgot something, didn't I? I did. I forgot to put my name, oh no, please make sure you have your name. So at the start, remember pinching our pencils. I'll write my name. Good, now if my paper gets mixed up with something else, I know which one is mine. So the letter that I'm going to use is F. F is four. And I'm going to put F is for fox. Now, my sentence starts with a letter, and I made that letter uppercase. And then it says is for. Now, I'm continuing my sentence. So I do I need to start with an uppercase or a lowercase letter? Good, lowercase. So F is for fox. F is for fox that... I'm gonna say my fox that plays in the forest. F is for fox that plays in the forest. At the end of my sentence, I'm choosing to use a period. Um, if you choose to use an exclamation point, that's awesome. But remember, it's not a question, so we should not use a question mark. Now, in my box, I am going to draw a picture of a good of a fox. And I'm going to look at my sentence. And it says, my fox, F is for fox that plays in the forest. So I'm going to use the clues or the words in my sentence to make picture clues like how we use whenever we're reading. So if the fox is in the forest, I probably should not draw a swimming pool or the beach. I should draw a forest. So I'm gonna think of what is in a forest. I think this is brown. Oh, that's a bad brown. There are lots of trees in the forest. So I'm gonna draw lots Oh, here's the trunk of the trees. I'll draw some trees. They look a little funny now, but because they're missing. I'm gonna choose for it to be summer, spring or summer in my forest. So that means I'm gonna need some leaves in my forest. I'll draw my leaves. There is my forest. The marker's starting to die a little bit. And then I'm gonna draw my fox. So I'm gonna think of what colors that I would need for a fox. I want it to look like a real fox, so I'm not going to use purple or green or 
black for my fox. Foxes usually are like reddish orange. So I think this color should be reddish orange. So I'm gonna try and draw my fox. I'll show you in one second. Here is a picture of my fox in the forest. And what you can do is you can add more detail to your picture. I'm just gonna do a simple one to show you quickly. But you can add more detail and whatever else you need. If you have this done by Thursday night, I would love to see it at our, at our Zoom meeting. Um, let me know if you need any other help. And if you would like to do another letter after this, let me know and I can send you the link so you can print another one of these out at home. All right. Happy writing. See you soon.